Hello, dear students. Welcome to the Quantum Guru. Let's see this question of IIT J Advance 2019. This question involves two concepts, collision and also of the projectile motion. So the question states, uh, ball is thrown from ground at an angle theta with horizontal with an initial speed u naught. For the resulting projectile motion, the magnitude of the average velocity of the ball up to the point where it hits the ground for the first time over here. Is V1 after hitting the ground, the ball rebounds at the same angle theta but with a reduced speed u naught by alpha motion continues for a long time as shown in the figure. If the magnitude of the average velocity or for entire duration of motion is uh, 0.8 V1, so what is the value of alpha? So uh, let's solve this question and I have uh, my own diagram. Here's the diagram. I have kept a little gap between the striking of the ground and rebounding from the ground. So here the particle uh, is thrown with velocity u0 at an angle alpha. So suppose the uh, component of the initial velocity, the y component is say uh, uy and x component is say ux. Till it hits the ground for the first time, suppose the time of flight is t1 and uh, horizontal range is r1 and uh, given is that the average velocity uh, of the ball up to the point where it hits the ground for the first time is un so from here from here to here the r1 is a displacement and time taken is v1 so average velocity is average velocity is v1 is equal to uh, r1 by T1, that is the first equation. Now, after the rebound, first rebound, the ball goes with a reduced speed, u naught by alpha, but the angle uh, made by the velocity from the horizontal remains same. So, uh, because theta is the same, so horizontal component will be the cos theta times of the initial velocity, and the vertical component will be sine theta times of the initial velocity. So, theta remains same. So, what will happen that the uh, horizontal component will be now becomes the alpha times smaller than the previous horizontal component and the vertical component will become also uh, alpha times smaller than the previous y component and suppose for this part the time of flight is t2 and the range is r2 and similarly for the other part this part the y component of the velocity will be alpha times smaller than the just previous one mean uy by alpha square and similarly this thing would be ux by alpha square and keep on going and this time is at t3 and this range is r3 and this will go on now the total time of motion t is the uh, time of flight of the each projectile motion ground to ground projectile motion so for the first projectile motion time of flight is t1 and for the next t2 and so on so t1 plus t2 plus t3 up to uh, infinity so first time of flight time of flight is governed by the y component only so that is a 2 ui by g and the second time of flight is 2 ui dash by g the new ui is uh, ui by alpha so that is a 2 ui by g by alpha so i can take 2 ui by g common so that will become 1 plus 1 by alpha and you can see that the subsequent y component becomes alpha times smaller so the time of flight for the subsequent parts will be alpha times smaller so 1 plus 1 by alpha plus 1 by alpha square dash 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 till infinity and see what is this this is the time of flight for the first uh, projectile motion in the from the throw to the first rebound so that is t1 and the sum of this infinite gp would be uh, 1 upon 1 minus 1 by alpha so that will be t1 alpha divided by alpha minus 1 that is my equation one the same way the range for the entire motion would be the sum of the all ranges like r1 plus r2 plus r3 and up to infinity the first range is how much the for the first first part the range is uh, twice ux ui by g so this is a 2 ux into ui by g and for the next part the ux has become alpha times smaller 
and ui becomes alpha times smaller also so their product becomes one by alpha square of the previous one mean the alpha square smaller so the next range r2 would be 2 ux ui by g divided by uh, alpha square and similarly the next term r3 would be uh, same thing 2 ux ui by g divided by 1 by alpha power 4 and this will go on and what is this this is nothing but the range for the uh, first ground to ground projectile motion that is r1 so i can write this r is equal to r1 into and the summation of this projectile motion common ratio is 1 by alpha square so that will be 1 upon 1 minus 1 by alpha square and simplification would give me r1 alpha square divided by uh, alpha square minus 1 that is my equation 2 now the uh, average velocity for the overall motion is say v so that would be v is equal to uh, displacement for the overall motion that is r and time of motion for the overall motion that is t putting the value of r and t from equation 1 and 2 so that is a uh, uh, r1 alpha square divided by alpha square minus 1 and putting the value of t is t1 alpha divided by alpha minus 1 so this r1 by v1 from here is v r1 by t1 is v1 so this is v1 and uh, there will be one alpha and the denominator this alpha square minus one is alpha minus one into alpha plus one so that will become alpha plus one and the question it is given to be this given to be how much is given to be 0 0.8 v1 so it means alpha divided by alpha plus one is 0 0.8 so alpha divide by alpha plus 1 is 0 0.8 mean alpha is equal to uh, 0 0.8 alpha plus 0 0.8 mean uh, 0 0.2 alpha is equal to 0 0.8 so alpha is equal to 4 that is our answer thank you